And when it comes to Iran, um, you know, the one thing that I just want to say in terms of America and the our European allies, <clears throat> we have been on the same page with them. The media doesn't like to report it, but we both agree that Iran must not get a nuclear weapon. We, we share the same goals. The Europeans and the Americans all see Iran as a problem, and we share the same goals. Where we have differed is on the tactic. And when information comes out that Iran has been lying and sneaking and trying to get uh, the, the pieces of a nuclear program behind the back of the international community, this sends a shockwave into Europe, and they are very clear about joining with America to stop Iran from getting this. Now it's up to the Biden administration to package the di diplomatic push. But what we should do is, is not allow Iran to somehow pretend like they can get away with this. Uh, we need to be united and, and hit back very hard. So I, mean, I, I think... Know, also, I don't even mean military. Let me be very clear. Hit back diplomatically, very hard, and in in unity. I, I know that another issue, which is kind of perplexing to some of our audience, is that uh, President Biden has yet to reach out to our number one ally in the Middle East. Uh, he's yet to have a phone call with Prime Minister Netanyahu. These are calls that are usually made pretty early on in administration. Uh, he certainly had time to do it when there was focus on the, the, this kind of bogus impeachment trial and not as much focus on his administration. And yet we find out he still has not yet made that phone call, Rick. I mean, what kind of message does that send to a part of the world that was just starting to make peace with Israel uh, in a public way and, and try to kind of reshape uh, alliances, if you will? It's unacceptable. It's unbelievable that after 30 days, the president of the United States, the new president, has still not called our greatest ally in the Middle East, Israel. The, the leader of Israel has not received a phone call from the president of the United States. That is shocking. I think when you look at the news of this past weekend, where we know that President Biden took at least 15, 20 minutes to play Mario Kart with his granddaughter, uh, I think that the priority should have been to call Israel. I understand that he needs a little time off, but uh, when when you haven't called Israel in 30 days, that's a snub. That's a purposeful avoidance of Israel. That is not a, a we'll get to you. This is a strategic belief by Jake Sullivan at the National Security Council that they're going to snub Israel. Now, I find it really astonishing that around the same time that we're snubbing Israel, Iran steps out and tries to come clean a little bit on what we know that they've been working on. This is a test of the Biden administration to say, what are you gonna do about it? We see you're distancing yourself from Israel, but now we're gonna try to show the world that we want to be the regional uh, power broker. And that goes up against Israel, against many of our allies. And, and once again, I call upon Jake Sullivan to actually think through some of these issues that he's ignoring. 